What, is that even a star? Or is that a black hole? That's... <laughs> Ayo, we are back at it again with some more A Rugger reactions, man. This time around, we are reacting to uh, the universe size comparison. Jeez. Like, um, if you wouldn't know from how I talk and how I carry myself, but I am number one in science. My main subject was science. It was science, math, history, English. I hated English, bro. I, English is my worst subject. It's my first language. Patois is my first language, but I guess English is technically Patois. So, if you don't know what that is, look that up. P-A-T-W-A, if you know what I mean. But, yeah, this is the size comparison in the universe. Uh, I know Earth and Venus <coughs> are roughly the same size, but Earth is a little bit bigger than Venus. And Earth and Mars are about, I think Earth is about three times bigger than Mars. Or six. It's three or six times bigger than Mars, something, something like that. I know it's a big gap, but yeah. And we got Mercury, the hottest planet in the universe. You should know that. Even though, no, 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 no. Mercury is the closest. Did I say that? Mercury is the closest, but Venus is the hottest planet in the universe because it's the size of Earth and it has an atmosphere. So the greenhouses on Venus are trapped if we keep doing it, what we're doing on Earth with all the greenhouse gases and burning fossil fuels. We might end up like Venus, but even hotter, possibly, because they're bigger and we have a bigger gravitational pull. So. A little, little fun facts for y'all, but yeah, and the biggest planet or the biggest star that I know is Betelgeuse, and our sun is a common star, a oh, uh, a white or yellow, a yellow dwarf or not, not eh, I don't know, we won't call it, uh, our sun, but yeah, the video link is in the description if you want to watch that without me talking over it. Check me out, leech, leech. <laughs> Watch more of my videos. I got a, I got a lot. I've been on here for a while. So check me out. And uh, yeah, the video is about to start. Now, okay, series. Is that a planet or is that a moon? I, I can't. I can't remember. In the moon. Really? Jeez way bigger Eclipse Callisto as Saturn's moon I believe oh what is this what kind of game is this all right so Mercury I'm in, hold up, man, this is America, bro. I don't know what kilometers are. I, I can get a rough estimate of what a kilometer is, but we do miles out here. <laughs> okay, Mars, yeah, Mars is bigger than Mercury. But Mercury has like a, a huge core compared to, okay, okay, what was it? See, Earth and Venus are, Damn close. Earth is a little bit bigger. What was I saying? Mercury has like a big core. And its core is like the size of our moon or something like that. Kepler 22b. Is that that water planet? What is that water that we found? Neptune. Neptune and Uranus are pretty close to size too. Uranus? Uranus? <laughs> it's Saturn. Like, if you look at it, it doesn't seem like Jupiter and Saturn are that much bigger than each other. What is that? What is, is that? A monkey? A monkey head? <laughs> Proxy Centauri. 
I think that's like our closest neighbor, I think. Our closest star. The sun. Okay, okay. And look at Earth. You can't even see Earth. Really? Wow. I wonder where that one is. White. So it goes from like yellow, white, super white. <laughs> Vega. Okay, where's Beetlejuice? Where's Beetlejuice? Arct Arcturus? I don't know if that is. I don't know how to say that. Like I just said, English. English is. Mm. Re yo, you can't even see our star anymore, yo. Jeez. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. You put the earth next to it? Yo. There's Beetlejuice. Oh, okay. Okay. That's the biggest one I know of. Wow. B Y Census Majoris. Jeez. U Y Scotty? Yo, bro. No way. No way. No way. What, is that even a star? Or is that a black hole? That's <laughs> the NGC 1277, bro. You can't even wrap your mind around how big that is. You can't. Like, you, you be right here. Beetlejuice is right here. And that's the biggest one I know. And that's like a million. No, no, no you're not even playing. But that's like a million times bigger than the Earth. Or the sun. Our sun. And you can't even see it barely compared to this thing right here. That thing, this is like, okay, we won't compare that to. This this is like, uh, a watermelon, okay? This is a watermelon. And this is a seed, seed from a cherry. And you want to go to the earth? Earth is not even compare. You can't even see it. It's a, it's a molecule. <laughs> wow. Ton 618. Gee. You can't even see the stars compared to that. What was that, a galaxy? Cat's Eye Nebula. Are nebulas like exploded stars? Is that what it is, right? Helix Nebula. Yeah, aren't those like exploded stars? Jesus. Orion. 24 light years wide? Yo. Omega Centauri. 150 light years. Is the small magnetic cloud? What, what is that? The small one. But to show the huge one? The nip? Yo! Yo! <laughs> yo! I can't, yo! The boat's void? What's that? The observable universe? The universe. No. That's the observable universe. Ain't no way that's the whole universe. Jeez. Oh my god, yo. Oh man, yo. You can't even you can't even wrap your mind around how big the universe is, man. Even this right here, what they showed, is probably just the what the Milky uh the microwave background of the universe or the observable universe. And what I heard was there's no um no curve at all to the universe. So if it's no curve or even a slight curve over millions, trillions of light years. That means the the universe is damn near endless. Or, yeah, it is endless. Matter of fact, how do they put it? If you're inside of a balloon, and the balloon expands, but it expands endlessly, and that you're inside the universe. So, it's endless to you because it keeps expanding and it's nothing beyond it or outside of it. That, that, <laughs> oh man, I, 
Golly. All right, man. I guess that's the end of the video. If you like my reaction, like, comment, subscribe to the channel. And my wah, my wah, my god.